Hello and welcome guys to a brand new FIFA 15 team review for our channel B Park Gaming International. This time on Manchester City, a strong team in real life football and I like to play them in FIFA 14 as well. So let's see what this team got for us in FIFA 15. Starting off once again in the goal where we have Joe Hart who might not be the most consistent goalkeeper in real life football but in FIFA he is very strong and I see him in the top 5 of all goalkeepers in the game. He already was good in FIFA 14 and it seems that he became even better in 15. Especially his diving abilities are great and he already made some incredible saves for me. So I see him as one of the strong points in the lineup of Manchester City. Moving on to the defense where our first center back of course is Vincent Kompany. He's just a very good defender, he's tall, he's strong, he has amazing standing and slide tackles, he can win headers and he has good passing as well, so you just feel very safe when you play him. As your second center back you could use Demichelis, but in my opinion he's a little bit too slow, so I prefer to play with Richards. I know that he's a right back normally and he's not the tallest defender, but he has amazing jumping and heading abilities. He's very strong and he has good tacklings and of course he's fast, which is very important as well. So I really like to use him as my second center back and together with company you have a very strong combination. For your left back and right back positions you have lots of options and it's more a thing of personal preference because Klichy, Kolarov, Sanya and Sabaleta are all strong defenders. I personally like to play Kolarov as my left back because he has strong long shots which can be useful sometimes and I play Sanya as my right back. For your defensive midfield you have two very good players with the Aya Torre and Fernandinho. Torre in my opinion is one of the best central midfielders in the game. He's very tall and strong and that combined with his tackling skills makes him extremely good at defending. So he will win you a lot of balls already in the midfield and then you can start dangerous counter attacks because Torre also got amazing offensive qualities. He has good dribbling, good passing and dangerous long shots and he can win headers as well. So I don't need to tell you more about this guy. Fernandinho on the other side is not as good as Yaya Torre, but he is an all-rounder as well. So he will win you some balls in the midfield and then can make awesome passes to bring your offense into play. So I personally like to play him, but if you don't, simply put Fernando in the squad, who is a little bit more focused on defending. Moving on to the offensive midfield, there you can use Nasri and David Silva as your wingers. They both have awesome dribbling and passing as well as good shooting and crossing, but they are not too fast, so there comes in Jesus Navas as an option and I personally really like to play with him. So my recommendation is if you want to play with a central attacking midfielder, then use David Silva therefore and then play with Jesus Navas and Nasri as your two wingers. If you don't want to use a central attacking midfielder, then use David Silva and Nasri as your two wingers and Jesus Navas as a substitution for late game. Moving on to the strikers where we have some different options as well. I have to say that I'm really impressed how good Jaco is in this game because he's so tall and strong he can protect the ball and wins lots of headers which makes him extremely dangerous for the opponent's defense. The only disadvantage with him is that he's too slow for some situations but I have to say that I like him. Then you can use Aguero of course, who in my opinion you have to play because he's extremely fast, his dribbling skills are amazing and he's ice cold when it comes to finishing. So he's one of the best strikers in the game and can make goals out of every situation. So in my opinion a must play and I would recommend you to play with two strikers. As I already said I use Jeko and Aguero. But I think Jovetic is an option as well because he's kind of an all-rounder so he's not too slow. He's pretty fast I think and he has good dribbling, good shooting and good passing as well. And he can win some headers so putting him in instead of Jeko is a good option in my opinion as well. 
At the end, as usual, I have the conclusion for you. So while you can read all the pros and cons about Manchester City, I want to say that I really like to play this team, I enjoy it and I have to say that I think this team is very strong as well. So I don't see them too far behind Bayern Munich or Real Madrid for example. Of course there's an edge, but in my opinion the chemistry feels very good when you play Manchester City so you can pull off some nice combination and that's why I give this team 8 points out of 10. That's all for today's team review guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If that's the case be sure to drop a like to support our channel and this format. So stay tuned for more FIFA 15 content on our channel B Park Gaming International, simply subscribe and then I see you later, I'm out, peace. Hello and welcome guys to a brand new FIFA 15 tutorial video. My name is George and this time I'm going to explain you a simple but 